Good evening again, families. I just wanted to let everyone know that this event is being recorded and it will be available on our YouTube channel. Good evening, faculty, staff, family, and friends, and of course, the class of 2022. And welcome to our junior commissioning ceremony that we have combined with our annual junior honors assembly. I'm Deanne Carter, proud principal here at Bishop McNamara High School. And I'm so honored you are here with us this evening virtually. We will begin this evening with our junior commissioning ceremony. Then we will celebrate the academic accomplishments of our 11th grade students. Please welcome Mr. Sam Hartwick, Assistant Director of Campus Ministry to lead us in our opening prayer. Mr. Hartwick. Good evening, thank you, Mrs. Carter. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good and gracious God, we thank you for giving us so much to celebrate this evening. We thank you for walking alongside each of us, especially for walking with the class of 2022 as they prepare for their final year of high school as role models and trailblazers. We thank you for their successes and accomplishments. We thank you for their perseverance during hard moments and the lessons they learned. We thank you for the love they are sharing, the friendships they are deepening, and the character they are developing. Be in our midst this evening as we celebrate all the good things you have already done in and through your children in the class of 2022. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. St. Andre Preset, pray for us. Blessed Father Moreau, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. We are now gonna have a reading from the Gospel of Luke. A quarrel be began among them. Which of them was to be seen as the most important? Pagan kings lord it over their subjects, said Jesus to them. And people in power get, the, get themselves called benefactors. That's not how it's to be with you. The most important among you ought to be like the youngest. The leader should be like the servant. After all, who is the more important? The one who sits at table or the one who waits on him? The one at table, of course, but I am with you here like a servant. You are the ones who have stuck it out with me through the trials I've had to endure. This is my bequest to you, the kingdom my father bequeathed to me. What does this mean? You will eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the, tw the 12 tribes of Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. It is now my pleasure to invite a representative for the class of 2022, Leah Camphor, to offer a reflection on her experience with leadership. Leah. Good evening to family, friends, faculty, and staff, and most importantly, the members of the class of 2022. My name is Leah Camphor, and I'm your rising senior class vice president. With that being said, this is the final leadership position that I will hold as a student at Bishop McNamara. Having, least, having previously served as class president, cabinet, and executive council in the past three years here. With the numerous opportunities that I have been afforded at McNamara, I've had the time to reflect on how my definition of leadership has evolved. As an underclassman, I thought of leadership as simply being able to be a symbol for other people and gaining power from that. I thought of it as gaining a title that left me untouchable. I quickly realized this was not the case. Having the title of president didn't set me any different from my peers. We were all equally important. I was not untouchable because of my status, nor was I treated any different. As time went on, I realized that being a leader has many different definitions. No one definition is necessarily correct. We all perceive leadership differently. In the scripture that Mr. Hardwick just read, we hear that Jesus say that the leader should be like the servant. To me, being a leader means providing for others and ensuring that the people around me get whatever they may need. I can do this by providing support or just by being there for my peers whenever they need me. 
As a leader in McNamara, I've learned countless lessons, made friends, strengthened skills, and overall learned how great I can be and how I can always get better. Tiger Woods had once said, no matter how good you get, you can always get better. And that's the exciting part. Well, here comes the exciting part. As we are commissioned tonight, we take our first steps into being high school seniors. As we take these steps together, I want you all to know how proud I am, how proud I am of all of you and that I know we can do this no matter how hard it gets. Thank you and congratulations to class of 2022. Thank you, Leah. At this time, we would like to invite everyone at home to take the pin and the card stock blessing as we bless the class of 2022 as the leaders of our school community. Those of you who are comfortable at home can join me in raising a hand in blessing as the students of the class of 2022 recite the commitment that is on the card. The commitment reads, we commit to grow as a family of faith, support, and encouragement. To show respect by acknowledging others as brothers and sisters in Christ. To bring the hope of the gospel through words and actions. To embrace education as citizens of this world and the next. Empowered leaders, inspired by the gospel, we will transform the world. We now ask that the parents and guardians of these students take the pin and ceremoniously fasten it to your student, officially commissioning them into this final step of their Bishop McNamara journey. We are going to close this commissioning in prayer. And before we do that, I just wanna thank everyone um, for being here. And even though we have been leaders for the last three years, we are very excited to see the leadership that the class of 2022 carries forth during their senior year. Loving Father, you come to our world, not dressed in the robes of a king, but those of a servant. Help us and especially the class of 2022 to follow your example to be servant leaders, lifting up all those around us. We ask that you continue to bless this class from your abundance and give them each day their daily bread. Inspire their minds and hearts to look to you for strength, guidance, perseverance, humility, and love. Open their eyes to your will and create, them in, create in them a desire to eat and drink at your table all the days of their lives. Help them to draw themselves ever nearer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Before I hand it over to Mrs. Carter, um, if you did not get your pin because of any issues with the post office, you can come and pick them up tomorrow or Monday from 7.30 to three. Um, and if you have any problems with that, you can email me at amanda.saunders at bmhs.org. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Saunders, Mr. Hartwick, and Leah. At this time, it is our pleasure to recognize the juniors uh, for their academic effort and excellence. We will do our best to pronounce every student's name correctly this evening. Our team has been practicing, but please forgive us if we make a mistake. We will get it right in time for graduation, so don't worry. We will begin with our honor roll students. Please welcome Mr. Herman Frazier, our 11th grade school counselor and Ms. Laura Keller, 11th and 12th grade Dean of Students to announce the honorees. Good evening. The following awards are based on students' cumulative academic performance over the past three quarters. We will first recognize all those students who have achieved the distinction of Dean's List. Each of these students has earned a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.25 through the first three quarters of this school, school year. Those students are Michael Anderson, 
Idris Vieira, Robert Johnson, Carla McCall, Taylor Smith, and Kiara Williamson. Congratulations, students. The English translation for the Latin phrase cum laude is with praise. Over the past three quarters, these students' work merits recognition for being consistently above average. Each of these students has earned a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.5 throughout the first three quarters of this school year. They are Noah Allen, Kamani Ames, Sanaya Beasley, Cameron Bennett, Seven Blackwell, Kiera Blair, Milan Bradley, Nicholas Butler Simpson, Randolfo Campos, Layla Carson, Layla Carter, Gabrielle Chisholm, Trinity Holland, Alexis Hunter, Isaiah Jefferson, Turner Jenkins, Brent Johnson, Cameron Jones, Corey Jones, Leah King, Jacqueline Lewis, Summer Lewis, Danielle Lincolns, Matthew McClam, Eddie Enquile, Andrew Parson, Brandon Peterson, Keith Perry, Wisdom Purcell, Nasir Rainier, Kaya Randolph, Jalen Reed, Scotland Richardson, Javar Roberts, Brianna Rogers, Alani Taylor, David Torrance, Colin Wade, Andre Watson, Anaya Williams, Kayla Wilson, Nicholas Wilson, Bramalis Wilson. Congratulations, students. Next, we will recognize all those students who have achieved the distinction of magna cum laude. The English translation for the Latin phrase magna cum laude is with great praise. Over the past three quarters, these students work merits recognition for being consistently in the range of high honors. Each of these students has earned a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.75 throughout the first three quarters of the school year. Those students are Jordan Adams, Taylor Arnold, Jordan Boger, Jordan Boykins, Gianna Burns Ferguson, Roosevelt Elliver, Armenta Farmer, Isaiah Hackney, Morgan Jefferson, Bolade Cola Adaway, Lindsay Lamb, Michaela Marbury. Nia Myers, Nicole Obianwu. Congratulations, students. And there's more. <laughs> My apologies. Dante Randall. 
Dominic Roberts. Jasmine Scott. Abion Shimless. Bryce Thompson. Yonta Vaughn. Damari Virginia. And lastly, David Woods. Congratulations, students. Okay, and now we will recognize all students who have achieved the distinction of summa cum laude. The English translation for the Latin phrase summa cum laude is with highest honor. Over the past three quarters, these students' work merits recognition for their consistent exceptional work, earning our highest academic achievement. Each of these students has earned a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.9 throughout the first three quarters of the school year. And they are Jayla Allen, Cameron Anderson, Gabriella Artis, Jacqueline Asiri, Kelly Austin, Morgan Bailey, Mia Baker, Jeffrey Beamer, Cade Bins, Nadia Retain, Morgan Broadnax, Brianna Brown, Sanaya Brown, Brock Butler, Caleb Bird, Naya Cole Owens, Chanel Compare, Callie Cooper, Robert Crawford, Cameron Cunningham, Amanda Densmore, Olivia Dixon, Asia Farmer, Corinne Fernand, Matthew Fleming, Nick Nicaela Florentino, Jasmine Flores, Brandon Foxworth, Gavin Francia, Marcel Gillespie, Marcus Goodley, Casey Griffin, Maurice Hall, Anya Harris, London Harris, Tony Harrison, Jada Howard, Christian Inman, Mariah Tu Jackson, Layla Johnson, Kamari Knight, Alexa or Alexia Lee, Maya Lee, Tiffany Logan, Tori Megan, Justin Malloy, Ariana Morero Massa, Ashley Miller, William Morales. Tiffany Obina, Deanna Paris, Caitlin Parrish, Jordan Partlow, Michaw Penn, Mackenzie Perry, Grace Philman, Rihanna Pickering, Cameron Pearson, Alani. Plater, Alante Plater, Jonathan Randall, Brandon Raymond, Talib Reddick, Drew Robinson, Alexis Roussan, Gabrielle Settles, Co Simpson, 
Alyssa Smith, Francesca Smith, Kanaya Smith, Sean Smith, Dara Somerville, Leah Somerville, Ainsley Spain, Christopher Taylor, Tyreek Tom, Elijah Thomas, Kyle Titus, Hannah Tripp, Taylor Troy, Teray Vines, William Washington, Christine Waters, Caitlin Weslowski, Dylan Williams, Olivia Williams, Quincy Williams, Lawrence Wingfield, Isaiah Woodley, Aaron Wright, Gabrielle Yeldell, Leo Zhang. Congratulations, students. Thank you, Ms. Keller. Next, we will move into our departmental portion of our program. There are two distinctions students can earn in a department, an Outstanding Achievement Award and a St. Andre Award. The Outstanding Achievement Award is given to a student in a course who led the class in academic excellence. These, students, these select students have set the bar of achievement for their classmates and they exemplify excellence through their daily work. Our St. Andre Awards are a tribute to a special man from our Holy Cross tradition. St. Andre, or as he was known during his life, Brother Andre, took great care meeting and greeting people as a doorkeeper at the St. Joseph's Oratory in Quebec, Canada. We honor a few young people with this distinction in memory of St. Andre, because those being re recognized represent the same ideals that St. Andre represented. Highness, compassion, determination, uncompromising principles, respect for others, prayer, hope, piety, and charity. We will begin with our English department and then move through the remainder of our departments. Ms. Brennan. Good evening, juniors and junior parents. I am Debbie Brennan. I'm the chair of the English department. I am delighted to announce the awards for English for this year. The Outstanding English 11 Award goes to Gabriella Artis, and the St. Andre Award goes to Brandon Foxworth. In AP Language and Composition, the Outstanding Award goes to Katie Weslowski, and the St. Andre Award goes to Cade Bins and Alexis Roussin. In journalism, the Outstanding Award goes to Jordan Boykins and the St. Andre Award goes to Cameron Cunningham. The Advanced Creative Writing Outstanding Award goes to Isaiah Woodley. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Jim Monahan. I'm a junior theology teacher. It's my privilege to present the class of 2022 winners. We have four St. Andre Award winners. They are Corinne Ferdinand, Jasmine Holder, Larry Wingfield, and Jasmine Flores. And our outstanding student for Theology 11 is Nadia Bretain. Congratulations.
On behalf of the MCL Department, Modern Classical Languages, I would like to offer congratulations uh, for Spanish two. The St. Andre Award winner is Brock Butler. For Spanish three, the outstanding student is Amanda Densmore. St. Andre Award winner, Alexis Roussan. For the Sancho Panza Award, Tiffany Obina. Layla Johnson, Nadia Bertain. For Spanish Language and Culture, Outstanding Student, Mackenzie Perry. Honors French 1, St. Andre student, Olivia Williams. Honors French 2, Outstanding Student, Sean Smith. Two St. Andre Awards going to Lindsay Lamb and Naomi Iku. And the St. Exploreri Award goes to Aze Farmer. For Honors French 3, the Outstanding Student is Jacqueline Asiri. St. Andre Award goes to Cade Benz. The St. Xperi Award goes to Olivia Dixon. Honors Latin Three. Outstanding student is Naomi Iku. For AP Latin, the St. Andre Award goes to Francesca Smith. For ASL Two, St. Andre Award goes to Ainsley Spain. ASL Two Outstanding Student, Amenta Farmer. Two St. Andre Awards go to David Torrance and Devin Harley. And finally from MCL, Honors ASL 3, the St. Andre Award goes to Taylor Arnold. Congratulations, students. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mary Mitchell Donahue, and I am proud to serve as the department chair for the Fine Arts Department. And I'm very happy to uh, give the St. Andre and Outstanding Awards for the Fine Arts Department this evening. Starting with Concert Band, the St. Andre Award goes to Tiffany Logan. In Symphonic Band, the St. Andre Award goes to Jordan Boger. Moving on to Honors Symphonic Band, the St. Andre Award goes to Nisha Penn. In Wind Ensemble, the St. Andre Award is earned by Leah Somerville. For Honors Wind Ensemble, the St. Andre Award will go to Brianna Brown. In Honors String Orchestra, the St. Andre Award will go to Morgan Broadnax. Moving on to Jazz Ensemble, the Outstanding Award for Jazz Ensemble will be Francesca Smith. And the St. Andre Award goes to Lawrence Winfield. In Corral, the Outstanding Student has been identified as Gabrielle Chisholm. For Dance Two, the St. Andre Award is Kendred Briscoe. In Dance Four, the St. Andre Award is for Morgan Jefferson. In Honors Dance Four, the outstanding student is Mackenzie Perry, and the St. Andre Awards go to Nadia Bretain and Naya Cole Owens. For Tap One, the outstanding award goes to Leah Camphor. For Tap Two, St. Andre Award goes to Matthew Fleming, and in top three, the St. Andre Award goes to Alexis Rouchon. Now for African dance, traditional African music and dance too, excuse me. The outstanding award goes to Jayla Allen. For Af traditional African music and dance three, the outstanding award goes to Tony Harrison. And the St. Andre Awards goes to Yanta Vaughn, and Talib Reddick. For Sankofa Company, Tony Harrison is the outstanding student. And for the St. Andre Award, we have Taylor Troy. For the Honors Sankofa Company, the outstanding award goes to Nadia Bretain. And now for introduction to theater, the St. Andre Award goes to Taylor Arnold. For honors, great stages of drama, the outstanding student is Maurice Hall. 
And the St. Andre Award goes to Jeffrey Beamer. For theater technology, topics A, the outstanding student is Leah Somerville. And the St. Andre student is Nia Myers. For theater technology, topics B, that was in the spring semester, the outstanding student is Olivia Dixon. And the St. Andre Awards go out to Christopher Taylor and Drew Robinson. In advanced drawing, the outstanding student is Casey Griffin. And the St. Andre Award goes to William Morales. For digital art, the outstanding student is Anya Harris. And the St. Andre Award goes to Pedro, Pedro Bollinger. And in advanced digital art, the outstanding student is Brianna Rogers and the St. Andre Awards go to Bryce Thompson, Brandon Smith, and Muratu Jackson. Thank you very much and congratulations. Hello, I'm Nick Klimczak, co-chair of the science department. In AP Biology, the St. Andre Award goes to Co Simpson. In Epidemiology, the outstanding student is Olivia Dixon. And St. Andre goes to Gabriella Artis. In Marine Science, the outstanding award goes to Tiffany Obina. In Physics, the outstanding award goes to Caitlin Wislowski. In AP Physics One, the Outstanding Award goes to Justin Malloy, and St. Andre goes to Quincy Williams. In Anatomy and Physiology, the Outstanding Student is Amanda Densmore, and the St. Andre Awards go to Jayla Allen and Tiffany Logan. In Honors Anatomy and Physiology, the St. Andre Awards go to Alexis Luson and Tiffany Obina. In Forensic Science, the Outstanding Award goes to Amanda Densmore, and St. Andre goes to Mia Baker. In zoology, the outstanding student is Marcel Gillespie, and St. Andre Award goes to Isaiah Woodley. In food science, St. Andre Award goes to Alexis Rousson, and in AP Environmental Science, the outstanding student is Maya Lee. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Matt Walther and I'm the department co-chair for technology and engineering. The following students are winners. Uh, AP Computer Science A, the St. Andre Award goes to Christopher Taylor. For AP Computer Science Principles, the St. Andre Award goes to Olivia Williams. For Computer Programming, the St. Andre Award goes to Nadia Bertain. For Foundations of Engineering, the Outstanding Award goes to Cameron Anderson. The St. Andre Award goes to Maya Lee. So Introduction to Computer Science Principles, the Outstanding Award goes to Mackenzie Perry. For the St. Andre Award goes to Amanda Densmore. For Introduction to Cybersecurity, the Outstanding Award goes to Maurice Hall. For the St. Andre Award goes to Isaiah Woodley. Uh, for Making Lab, Create, Hack, and Play, the St. Andre Award goes to Marcel Gillespie. For Robotics, the Outstanding Award goes to Muratu Jackson. The St. Andre Award goes to Pedro Ballinger. For Web Design, the Outstanding Award goes to Caitlin Wazowski. And the St. Andre Award goes to Tiffany Obina. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brenda Stevens and I'm the chair of the Physical Education Department. And tonight's awards go to Lifetime Sports 2, Outstanding Award goes to, goes to, um, Jamil Johnson, Archery and Target Games. Outstanding award goes to Jacqueline Ashuri. St. Andre goes to Jonathan Randall. Personal Fitness One, Outstanding award goes to Robert Crawford. And Personal Fitness Two, St. Andre award goes to Michael Anderson.
Hello, I'm Laura Keller, and I will be uh, saying the awards for the Social Studies Department. For, you, for United States history, the outstanding award goes to Maya Lee. For the St. Andre Award, we have Christopher Taylor, Romalis Wilson, and Tere Vines. For AP U.S. History, the outstanding award goes to Caitlin Weslowski. The St. Andre Award goes to Amanda Densmore, Matthew Fleming, and Quincy Williams. For Psychology, the outstanding award goes to Taylor Troy. The St. Andre Award goes to Quincy Williams. For Women's Studies, Outstanding Award goes to Sanaya Brown. And finally, Introduction to Special Education, Outstanding Award is Maya Lee. Congratulations, students. Good evening. My name is Alicia Brown. It is indeed my honor to present the following recipients for the St. Joseph's program. Outstanding Achievement Award are Brandon Foxworth and William Morales. The recipients for the St. Andre Award are Devin Harley and David Torrance. Congratulations and thank you. Hello, I'm Angeline Dealman, and I am the head of the math department here at Bishop McNamara High School. It gives me great honor to award the following students for their math awards. Geometry, outstanding Isaiah Woodley, outstanding Cameron Pearson, and outstanding Jacqueline Asiri. There were three Brother Andre awards, Tiffany Logan, Romulus Wilson, Alexis Hunter. For the Honors Geometry, the Outstanding Award goes to Maya Lee. The Brother Andre Award is awarded to two students, Marcel Galepsby and Marcus Goodley. For Honors Pre-Cal, the Brother Andre Award goes to Tiffany Obina. For Honors Advanced Pre-Cal, the Outstanding Award goes to Caitlin Wislowski. And the Brother Andre Award is awarded to Amanda Densmore. For AP Statistics, the Outstanding Award goes to Justin Malloy. And for Honor Statistics, the Outstanding Award goes to Quincy Williams. We will now move to the Special Awards Program. Please welcome back Mrs. Carter. Thank you, Ms. Steelman. In addition to our academic awards this evening, we also have a few scholarship presentations. Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill will join us to present the first scholarship awards. Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill. Good evening, Bishop McNamara class of 2022. The K.E. O'Neill Scholarship is awarded each year to a current Bishop McNamara student, male student, and honors the life and legacy of Kevin Eugene O'Neill, who was a 2003 graduate of Bishop McNamara High School and also attended Morehouse College as an honors student. As part of the application process, each applicant had to submit an essay outlining an experience or event from their past that led them to become a change agent in their community. 22 young men from Bishop McNamara High School submitted applications as part of the and as part of the 10 year anniversary of this award, each applicant will be receiving a certificate of participation along with a check 
for the amount of $100 for participation. Five of those applicants are members of the class of 2022. So please join me in congratulating Kay Benz, Christian Emin, Talib Riddick, Dominic Roberts, and Sean Smith. The 2021 K.E. O'Neill Scholarship winner is Christian Emin. He will receive an $1,100 award. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill. We appreciate your continued support of the Bishop McNamara high school students, especially our young men. And young men, congratulations and thank you for participating. Mrs. Dealman will join us to present the next scholarship award. Ms. Dealman. Thank you, Ms. Carter. The Michael J. Memorial, excuse me, the Michael J. Mamana Memorial Scholarship is presented annually to a rising senior at Bishop McNamara High School, who is a member of the school's varsity football team and also shows a commitment to the studies of mathematics and science. These are all traits which were truly mirrored by the life of my brother, Mike Momano, who graduated in 1983 from Bishop McNamara High School. Please join me and congratulating the 2021 winner of the Michael Memorial Scholarship from the class of 2022, who will be awarded a $1,500 scholarship towards next year's tuition. The recipient of this award is Cade Benz. And now Ms. Keller will announce the next two scholarships. Ms. Keller. Thank you, Ms. Gilman. The Aaron G. Marshall Memorial Scholarship is awarded each year to a current student who participates in the Bishop McNamara High School Fine Arts Program and maintains both a strong academic and disciplinary record while in the classroom and on the stage. This scholarship is in memory of our beloved BMHS alumni, Mr. Aaron Marshall who graduated from Bishop McNamara in 2014. The recipient will receive an award in the amount of $1,500 towards next year's tuition. I am honored to announce this year's winner from the class of 2022, Mr. Marcel Gillespie. The Byrne Osborne Scholarship is awarded each year to one or more students who have maintained a level of excellence in the classroom. This scholarship was put in place by both the Byrne and Osborne families to honor the lives and memory of John and Doris Byrne and James and Lucille Osborne by their 15 children in thanksgiving for the faith and education their parents provided them. I am excited to announce that two members of the class of 2022 will receive a $2,000 award towards next year's tuition. The recipients from the class of 2022 are Miss Callie Cooper and Miss Naomi EQ. Ms. Carter. Thank you, Ms. Keller. The Carol Oberman Memorial Scholarship is awarded each year to a BMHS student who exemplifies a Christian spirit and strives for academic excellence in the classroom. The Oberman family created this scholarship in honor of their parents for their sacrifice to provide a quality Catholic education and to memorialize their younger sister, Carolyn, who was the youngest of five children and who would have graduated from Lorraine High School in 1987. 
The scholarship comes with a $500 award towards next year's tuition. And this year's recipient from the class of 2022, please join me in congratulating Ms. Mackenzie Perry. And our final scholarship, the Herndon Family Arts Scholarship is presented annually to a rising senior at Bishop McNamara High School who exhibits a love for and commitment to the visual arts and remains in good academic standing with the school. Enrollment in a visual arts class is required to receive the scholarship. This year's recipient from the class of 2022 will receive a $500 award towards next year's tuition. Please join me in congratulating this year's winner of the Herndon Family Art Award to Ms. Turner Jenkins. I would like to congratulate all the students who were honored here today for their academic effort and excellence. I would now like to uh, invite our president and CEO, Dr. John Barnhart, who is gonna join us virtually. Um, unfortunately, Dr. Barnhart had to go um, to a family funeral out of state. So he's joining us virtually this evening. Please stay tuned. Good evening and welcome. My name is Dr. John Barnhart and I'm the president of Bishop McNamara High School. Just yesterday, I humbly congratulated our seniors on their final exercise at Bishop McNamara High School commencement. It was here that I was really reminded uh, of the powerful, powerful role that a senior on campus plays uh, in the lives of our faculty, our staff, and most importantly, our underclassmen. While this evening serves to celebrate your accomplishments of this past year, please let it also serve as a call to action for the important year that you have ahead. As seniors, every single student and member of our community looks to you. Despite being off campus since your sophomore year, you are now the biggest influencers. Mrs. Carter and I depend on you to be a leader of moral substance and to work harder than your, toward your academic success than you ever have before. Your success over the next few months will have a tremendous bearing on your long-term college and career success as well. One more year of serious study will ensure significantly greater opportunities and choice in the years ahead. The research, it's clear. The fall of your senior year is a significant predictor of your success in your first year of college. Think about that for a moment. The research is also clear that in order to be the most successful in college and career, students should attend the college or program that was most challenging for them to gain admission. In other words, when you apply for your REACH school and you get in, you should attend. This summer, next fall, work on reaching further. Prepare yourselves for a rigorous study this fall to be ready to prove yourself, not only for you, but for all those underclassmen watching you. Congratulations again on all that you've accomplished this year. Because of your serious application during the time of COVID, you are already, you are already setting yourself out from your peers. But keep going, rest a little while, grow closer with family, and then open a book, study a language, practice a sport, and prepare to be one for the followers this fall. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much, Dr. Barnhart. Again, keep uh, Dr. Barnhart and his family in his prayers. Um, as we uh, wrap up this evening's program, I would like to thank everyone for joining us this evening. We are very prayerful that in uh, this time next year, we will be able to celebrate with you here for senior convocation in person. Um, we are extremely proud of all of these students and look forward to having them back on campus in the fall as seniors. Have a fantastic summer, juniors. Congratulations.